guys, this is Mike Wittenberger from College Point, New York, with the Eds. Passing around. Thanks for listening to me today. Uh, my comic book, The Eds, A Story of America, is a uh, universal story whose uh, success will go far beyond that of the normal comic book buying audience, and here's why. As you can see, uh, the art of The Eds is done in a simplistic style with uh, bright colors and strong lines, giving it a unique or uh, kind of weirdy cartoonish look, which I think is uh, easy on the eyes and uh, pleasant to look at. Uh, as I mentioned, the story is a uh, universal uh, adventure story, a road trip, which is uh, fun and enjoyable by most, and uh, deals with uh, blue collar middle America, which has been successful in the past with movies like Raising Arizona and shows like Roseanne and uh, King of the Hill and my name is Earl. Uh, it, uh, it has uh, the books full of uh, a lot of uh, tender moments which will endear the audience, the characters to the audience and delivers a laugh about every two pages, maybe more than that. And uh, it'll be interesting, uh, the story overall will uh, take a satirical look at the different... Who's the character? Who are the characters? Uh, uh, because because uh, right now you're telling us oh, okay. how it's going to be successful and okay, not so what here's, the, here's the, the story basic, and the characters uh, here's are. The Story. It's three uh, three rednecks traveling across America. The Ed's brothers, Ed and uh, Ted, and Ed's uh, girlfriend Darla May, traveling across America, searching for their unknown family members and themselves, led by a white trash Obi Wan Kenobi, who is the ghost of their trucker father, who, while he was alive, uh, impregnated women across the country, and they come to find out they have all these brothers and sisters. I need to stop you there, Mike. I this up and I read, Ed is a crank addict who sits around the trailer all day drinking and getting high. That is correct. That sounds hilarious. And, I, and if you can tell, I'm being very sarcastic. Okay. I don't find uh, crank particularly funny and I, and, I, and I don't see how this fits into this cartoonish nature. I mean, this is like a scourge that's, that's killing our, our cities and towns. Yeah. And why didn't you even mention it? I mean, it's the first thing I notice in that when I open this thing up, you don't even mention that there's a huge drug element to this story. Well, I mean, it's, you know, like I said, it's a satirical look at uh, white trash middle America, and as you say, that is a true thing. Um, it's, a, it's a cartoony kind of thing, but like you say, it's a cartoony look, with, but it's going to look at real issues um, while also throwing in some laughs, and as they travel around America and meet their other brothers, you know, they'll run into different kinds of Americans from different parts of the country and uh, see how they kind of all mix up together. So it's, you know, kind of, uh, like I say, a social... Uh, social commentary, but with a little comedy thrown in, and uh, definitely doesn't promote drug use. As you can see, the guys are losers, and it's definitely ruining their life. And um, by the end, they will change around and discover themselves, and hopefully, come out better for it in the end. In, that I responded to is that all of the all of the the things that you mentioned are TV shows rather than comics, and it seems that you have designed this more for and animated? Well, it could, it could go that way. Um, it's also written so that uh, every two pages, like it's actually uh, um, written to be a two-page web comic or like digital comic you can put it on the iPod um, or a 22-page monthly print comic. So the story works in all 22 pages or just two pages at a time with a nice hook or a nice laugh at the end of each two pages. But you could go cartoon. I'm kind of looking at the artwork just to focus on that for a second. Sure. Um, you know what? I don't find them any, they're not charming in the least. Oh, yeah. Well. Yeah, King of the Hill, Simpsons, I mean, these, and especially the Simpsons, very stylized, not attractive people, but they're charming. Mm -hmm. you, know, you want to look at them. I, I'm not getting really much of a read out of these characters here. That combined with what was already pointed out about the drug uh, and not to mention all the impregnated women they have to find across the country. <laughs> well, the, it's, um, the, it's the kids of the impregnated women that they're looking for, actually, to put the, put the family together. Yeah. There's something about the tone here that seems all over the place. The look of the thing seems jumbled. I, I can't imagine myself enjoying reading this comic. I, I'll make a suggestion to you. Sure. I, I, I wouldn't vote to publish this. However, I would put it on the web, or since you have a web address here, it might already be there. Play it out, see what the fans respond to. Okay. Uh, on the web, since you're doing a page or two at a time, you can kind of change the story as it goes, which happens all the time in comics. And, and see what people are into and see what kind of response you get. And 
you may find yourself a year from now with some different version of that that might work for others, or, you know, we could be wrong. It, this could be the kind of secure, satirical, subversive thing that could usually take off. We just wouldn't be interested. Go ahead, make us look like idiots. Get up. We, want, we want to look like idiots. Yeah. All right. I'm, only a little, I'm a little concerned about the name. I'm just thinking Cartoon Network with Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah, that's And they that's do call them, they, they do refer to them as the Eds in all of their promotional stuff. And, and they may send a little letter to you. Oh, you okay. might get that letter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. But, other but thank you. Thank, thank you. you.